Hi, this is Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. You've probably noticed that on a lot of websites these days, everybody's adding their little cookie policy banner, just like I have on this website you're looking at. If I scroll down a little bit, you can see that this little banner is sticking to the bottom of the page. In fact, I'll reload the page and you can see my little orange banner down here. That's got maybe some text about our cookie policy and a link to it, and then a button or a link for somebody to click once they agree or they understand. And you'll notice too, as I scroll down the page, it sticks to the bottom. I'm gonna show you how to make one of these. By the way, when the user clicks this button, it goes away, which is what you want. So let's go behind the scenes, and I'll show you how I made this very simple cookie policy banner. So here's this project in 90 Second Website Builder. This is the website here. And if I scroll down to the bottom, um, you'll see here's my cookie banner. It doesn't really matter where I put it on the page in design mode because it's gonna always stick to the bottom of the page. So I've just stored it down here for convenience. But the reason why it doesn't matter where I put it is because it's something called a sticky layer. I'll show you what I mean. You're just gonna drag a layer out onto the screen here like this but it's not just any kind of layer. It's a layer that needs to be called a sticky layer. And so you drag the layer onto the screen, you choose the mode of sticky layer, and then where I want it to show or orient is the bottom left corner of the screen. I've also added just for fun, a 500 millisecond delay. So it kind of animates when the page scrolls down, it kind of waited a little bit before it moved. That's because there's a delay there. And um, that's about it. That's all it is. It's just a, a sticky layer with a text object in it and a little button. So I like mine to be relative horizontal sizing, the full width of the screen. Um, I think it looks better. And um, then I made mine, as you can see, the background's kind of an orange color. Choose whatever you want. But I also made mine a little bit transparent. In other words, it's 90% opaque, so you can kind of see through it. As it scrolls, you can kind of see that there's stuff behind it. Those are just design decisions. You can do whatever you want. Now, here's the fun part. So as you can see, I just have basically two things in here. The text that says, here's our cookie policy and maybe a link to that page. And then this is the part that makes it kind of all work. And that's the button that says, I agree, or I understand, or in this case, if I got it, whatever you want to put there. What this object is, is it's a button. And it's a button that's called a submit button that doesn't need to do anything except when somebody clicks on it, I have it triggering an event. So in other words, I'm telling the software when someone clicks on this object, this button on click, I want you to hide the cookie layer. Let's take a look at that. Here's what it looks like for this button. I chose an event called on click as opposed to all these other options. In other words, when you click it, here's what I want you to do. I want you to hide, and of course there's several other things we could do, but in this case we want it to hide this particular target, this object. And these are all the objects on my page, but this one I called cookie layer. Yours might be called layer one or whatever. And that's it. I don't need to tell the program to hide the text object and the button because those are part of the layer. All I need it to do is hide the layer and then it will hide everything that the layer contains. Uh, or this could even be an image that you can have people click on. If you want it to be an image, they can click on it. Just add this event that says on click, hide the cookie layer or whatever your, the, the name of your uh, layer target is. Click OK, OK, and you're good to go. And that's it. That's all you have to do. So like I said, it doesn't matter where I store this object on the page itself because it's always going to hug or, or uh, stick to the bottom of the page. And of course, it's really easy to do in 90 Second Website Builder.